SSCM, I guess, is the more technical term. Site-specific crop management, it stands for. Um, and it, it basically is just about variable rate application. It's about, um, instead of just managing a, a, a whole field, um, with a simple uh, or, or the same blanket rate application, we're actually taking that down to a smaller level um, and so we can treat different areas of the field uh, with different levels of nutrition or seed or, or ameliorants. The usual steps that a farmer will go through to, to, uh, to, to simplify it um, is actually uh, first establishing whether uh, you've got the, the, uh, the environment that would suit uh, site specific crop management. Most farmers will be able to tell you where there's a better part of their paddock or a, or a worse part of their paddock. Um, and so once we've established that yeah okay there is some variability that does exist, things like yield maps are often the first port of call, things like uh, electromagnetic conductivity surveys, uh, NDVI, so just different uh, layers of information that can uh, identify where variation exists in a field and then taking the next step and going okay what's driving that variation usually soil tests or a tissue tests uh, are, are going to help us uh, sort of work out a what the constraints are what's what uh, what's meaning that there's a lesser yield here or a higher yield there and then b also giving us an idea about the levels of nutrition that exist in the soil and from that we can then go and formulate a plan for what to do with the issue that exists in the poor areas and that might be amelioration uh, so things like lime and gypsum come to mind and then we can also uh, go down the path of variable rate nutrition or seed rate application so if an area has a low level of phosphorus we can go and put more there and if an area has a high level of phosphorus we can uh, uh, take out what we were going to put there and, and put it in the low area and then obviously at the end of the season with a yield map we can come back and actually uh, do some assessments um, and just work out have we made some good decisions with uh, the site specific crop management Collecting yield data is a fantastic place to start. Um, most harvesters uh, these days uh, that growers are using have the ability to yield map. Not all of them are actually plugged into a GPS to ensure that happens. So absolute encouragement to growers to make sure that happens, collect that data. Um, even if it sits on a computer for two or three years before you do anything with it, it's just a great layer of information to go back and refer to. So I can thoroughly encourage farmers to get yield mapping as soon as they can. But the most important layer of information that uh, exists out there is uh, the bit that, that uh, sits above the, uh, the shoulders of the farmer. They've been over their paddock for the last 30 years or so. So um, just having an understanding about what is driving that variation is, is very important with that local knowledge and uh, what the father um, and the grandfather knew many, many years ago. In regards to uh, yeah, taking on board uh, a site-specific crop management program, well, they can probably expect to get a, uh, a better bang for their buck when it comes to the fertiliser. They can um, yeah, not over-fertilise in parts of their paddock and they can also not under-fertilise in other parts of their paddock. So it's just, uh, just about, um, I guess, getting um, the most out of their nutrition dollar.